So today for our daily Moravian text reading, we are in Romans 5, 1 to 11. An absolutely incredible section of scripture, isn't it? I hope you enjoyed reading it as I did. Uh, the NIV puts the title in um, Peace and Joy. Peace and Joy. What, what incredible qualities, experiences um, that we long for in today's world. We are all longing for peace. We're longing for joy. And Paul says that we already have access to this peace and joy. How do we have access to this peace and joy? Because we have been justified through faith. Now, hopefully you've picked up on what that means as we've journeyed through Romans. This is the, the main point of Romans, that we are justified. So we are legally um, declared not guilty, legally declared righteous and holy before God. Not through our works, not through our good deeds, not for trying to be nice, not through avoiding being naughty um, or self-effort, but through faith. We simply believed it. And in believing it, we received that gift of righteousness. And Paul says we stepped into that, that gift. We stepped into it. Uh, we accessed his grace. We stand in his grace. Do you notice that in Romans chapter 5 verse 2? This Into this grace in which we now stand. And it's almost like Paul describes grace as like a place that we step into. Almost like a sovereign state into which we enter and dwell there and live there and stand there. A place where all of heaven's resources become freely available to us. We can draw down heaven's joy and peace and hope. And provision because we are in grace, living, standing in that place of grace. We then got that very challenging bit where Paul says, rejoice in your sufferings because suffering produces hope. And it's difficult, particularly in this season we're in, to think about how we can rejoice in suffering. But we rejoice in suffering because of the outcome of that suffering, which is an unswerving hope in God. I suppose it's a little bit like how we might rejoice when a life-saving surgery becomes available to us. Uh, not because we want that surgery, but because we know if we go through it, we will access the health that comes out of it. That will be the outcome. And so we rejoice in suffering because of the outcome. Uh, a friend of mine, I remember him doing a school assembly when we were teachers on this verse. And he, he asked the boys um, who liked cake. And loads of them put their hands up. He got um, four volunteers out and um, he gave the first one some eggs in a glass, another one some milk, another some flour, another some butter and said, help yourself, lads. Uh, his point was, uh, we love cake, but we don't always enjoy the ingredients that make up cake. And this um, verse here, verse four, Paul's and verse three, Paul's talking about suffering that produces perseverance, that produces character that produces hope. We love the outcome, but not necessarily the ingredients that make it up. But Paul says rejoice in it because of the unswerving outcome. And then we move into verse six onwards, and it's just go uh, the gospel. Paul is reminding us of the gospel, that the love of God demonstrated to us in sending his son, the love of Jesus demonstrated in the giving up of his life, his death as a sacrifice for our sins. And I suppose that is the application point today. Uh, if you want to access this peace, this hope, this joy, um, the single most effective thing that we can do to access that is to remind ourselves of the gospel, to gospel ourselves, to preach the gospel to our souls. And uh, that is the single most effective tool we have in discipleship for ourselves, discipleship of one another. And you might remember that uh, Anna and Nate, some of our overseas workers, pointed that out in Romans 1, 15. Paul says, I'm eager to come to you, Roman believers, to preach the gospel to you. So let's do that this day. Preach the gospel to your soul. Remind yourself of the love of God. The hope that his salvation brings. Step into that grace through which we are transformed. 
in that place of grace, access the resources of heaven freely available to you. Heaven's joy and heaven's peace. Rest in it, dwell in it this day, and it will surely transform how you think and feel and behave. Have a wonderful day.